So when we're looking into dividing numbers, all right, the first thing we're going to do is well, what I have here is 14 divided into 687. The first thing we want to do when we're dividing numbers is try to divide into our first digit here. Well, 14 is larger than 6, so 14 is not going to divide into 6, correct? All right. So then we just expand that and say, well, this 14 divide into 68. Well, of course it does, but how many times is it going to divide into 68? So if I just did in my, you know, just what I would do is just keep on calculating. You could do 14, and then the second uh, would be 28, right? You had 42, 56, and then what you notice is the next one would be 70. So really, it multiplies into there four times. All right, does everybody see how I got? Four, I just listed the multiples of 14. I'm assuming you don't have a calculator and you can't really check it out. Then you multiply 4 times 14. Well, 4 times 1 is 14. 2 is 28. Times 3 is 42. Times 4 is 56. So you do 4. So you divide it in. See how many times it goes into their whole. Write that number up top. Then you multiply that number times your divisor. And then write your product down below. And now we need to subtract. So therefore, then I have 68 subtract 56, which is going to be 12. Unfortunately, 14 does not divide into 12. So therefore, I bring down my next digit, which would be 7. And you just continue this pattern over and over and over again. Now we need to determine how many times does 14 go into 127. All right. Um, you can keep on continuing uh, to add on to this. So that would be 70, 84, 98, 112, 126. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 14 goes into 127 nine times. 9 times 14 is 126. Again, you subtract, bring it down one time. Now again, 14 does not bring it, go into a 1, and we don't have any more decimals, in the, or we don't have any more values, right? So now, that is where our decimal point is going to come in. And then we just borrow, so we bring that in, so now we can bring down a 10, which that doesn't work, right? So therefore, we have to bring down another one, which would be um, 100. And then 14 divided into 100. Um, oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't go into the 10, so we write that 0 there. And then how many times does 14 go into 100? Well, that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. And if you guys go ahead and check that on your calculator, you have 687 divided by 14 is 49.07. And obviously, ladies and gentlemen, depending on what decimal point we want you to round to, you would just continue the pattern of what I did. Does anybody have any questions with that? Write it down. You're probably going to want to make sure you continue using that. No questions? Yes? Anything else? Okay. I have one last example, guys, then the rest of the class is yours. <laughs> 